Hi, Skittles, it's Cool here, and welcome to another episode of Q&A. What episode are we at now? This is 17. Shit, that's a lot. I honestly didn't think the, um, this series would go on um, for so long, especially after the whole, you know, Google Plus thing and they fucked up the comments and the series relies on comments and etc. And as always, if you don't want this series to die, which I really, really don't want to happen, and I'm sure you don't want that to happen, please feel free to leave comments in the questions or as a message on YouTube or on Tumblr. You can submit as many uh, questions as you like, as long as they're, you know, as just preferably some that are thought-provoking or something I can turn into something silly or funny. So anyway, but enough rambling on from me. Let's get on with the first question, shall we? How long are you going to keep your braces? I honestly have uh, no idea of how long uh, I'm going to have these. Um, so I do know it's going to um, have to keep them for a few months. The reason I have them on uh, is to prep my teeth for surgery. Um, I, I don't know if you've... Um, I've, I've, I've talked about this before in my Let's Plays, but I don't think I've ever um, talked about it on Q&A. Basically, what is going on is I have to... Obviously, braces, I have them on to pop... Uh, obviously align my teeth because before my teeth were absolutely horrid looking and it looked like old zigzag they're all in like weird zigzaggy patterns and looked uh, not too um, handsome looking so now having my teeth all straightened and lined up um, in preparation for surgery because as hang on I'll show you as you can see my bottom jaw is larger than my top jaw so um, I'm having these braces in to prep my teeth for surgery. Um, the surgery, what's gonna happen in surgery is that they're gonna take out bone from my bottom jaw and put it into my top jaw so I won't have this underbite. So yeah, um, I know, I th I'm pretty sure I'm also gonna keep the brace, I'm gonna have to keep the braces on uh, after the surgery is done just to, you know, align all the teeth so everything doesn't just fly out, so. <laughs> And so yeah, uh, that I don't. I know I'm gonna have to keep these braces on for a few more months, maybe another year. So get used to them, guys. Give me your cookies. Never. Do you read Clop Fix? If so, do you have any favourites? To be honest, I do occasionally indulge in a Clop Fix every now and again. Um, as for my favourite, um, it's kind of hard to say, but probably. Flutterbox only because it's uh, so damn hilarious. If you want to um, go see why it's so funny, you can go check it out. Go look it up on Fim Fiction or go check out my episode of Fanfic of the Month where I talk about it and it's absolutely hilarious. So definitely go check that out. How many Pokemon generations do you think there will be before they run out of ideas and just stop the game? I honestly have uh, no idea uh, how long it's going to be before Game Freak just uh, give up on uh, Pokemon, but judging from uh, Generation uh, 6, the one that was like X and Y, I honestly don't think it's going to be uh, that soon, or at least not hopefully anyway, because X and Y did bring in a lot of new um, game-changing um, elements to um, Pokemon that really sort of invigorated the game. Um, but as for when it's going to end, like officially, um, I'm not sure because Pokemon is like one of Nintendo's biggest franchises and I don't think they're going to um, end Pokemon that soon. Um, obviously, it's not going to be... As, as, if it's going to keep going for, like, say, another 20 years or so, obviously it's not going to be as good as it is now. So, uh, hopefully... Obviously, Game Freak have been around for a long time. They've done uh, several different Pokemon games, so hopefully they're not going to uh, fuck everything up in the next uh, few generations. But they're, if anything, they're just going to experiment and see what works and what doesn't. So, uh, hopefully... Pokemon will still be alive in the next 10 years. That's my hope, at least. Notice me, senpai! Maybe I will if you turned off the anonymous tag on Tumblr. How many OCs does it take to screw in a light bulb? One to screw in the light bulb and the rest of them to go fuck off back to Deviant out where they belong. Are you a banana? What do you think is the greatest game ever made? Hands down, Dust and Elysian Tale, greatest game that's ever made. If you want to know why I think it's the best game ever made, simple fact, it was an indie game that was made in four years and it was made by one guy. Yeah, 
one guy. If you've seen my top 10 um, games of 2013 list, you would know um, all about this game pretty much and why I love it so, so much. But it's the main reason the fact it was just made by one guy over the course of four years. That in itself is really fucking astounding. And the rest of the game is just... So, so great, like the little visual detail and the animation is so fluent, the combat is really, really fun and the platforming is just, again, just, it's just so good and so fun and it was, <clears throat> it's almost unbelievable of it was made uh, by just one guy. Um, it's like 20 hours long for like a full 100% playthrough, so if you're a completionist, you're really gonna love it. Um, and it's also for a really cheap price of $15 on Steam. You can also get it on XBLA if you're a console gamer. So, yeah, you can have... So go pick it up. It's definitely one of those games you have to play before you die. So go, go look it up from somewhere. Warning, the following question contains spoilers about future Pokemon games. If you don't want to be spoiled, then head to the time specified on screen. What do you think about the rumours of Pokemon Plus and Minus? So for those of you who don't know, there's been a lot of rumours um, popping up after a few months after Pokemon X and Y's release about the new generation of Pokemon, which have been dubbed Pokemon Plus and Minus. Um, also, before I go any further, I just want to say that nothing I'm going to talk about has been confirmed by Nintendo or Game Freak, and it's all nothing but rumours and speculation. So like I said, after a few months of X and Y's release, the two new Pokemon games were announced as the next generation of Pokemon, Pokemon Plus and Minus. Now, a lot of people have been talking about, oh, why are they developing uh, their new game so early? I mean, X and Y was just released, why would they think about making a new generation? I certainly see where people uh, come from there because, you know, it was just released. Why would they make, like, a new one when there's already one that's still full of life and light in it? Uh, but then again, if you, for those of you who don't know how uh, game production works, games do take a lot of time uh, to make. Like like I just said, Dust and Lazy and Tail took four years to make and you could say the argument of, oh, that was just made by one guy. It's, of course it's going to take that long. But also, in the world, that, that's certainly a good point. There's other, like, AAA games that take equally as long. Like, for example, The Last of Us, which um, started production during... Um, uh, the development of Uncharted 3. Uncharted 3 was like made a, a, how many years ago? Something amount of years ago. I'll put it on screen. Um, and you can tell, and there's like also a little reference to um, The Last of Us in Uncharted 3, like the bar where you first start the game. There's like a newspaper article that references uh, the clickers and the cordyceps fungus. So you can tell Last of Us was in development for a long time. And also a lot of other AAA games take equally as long to make. So it wouldn't be unlikely for Game Freaks to start development of the new Pokemon generation, even if it makes like, even if it takes like three years to make, obviously they want to start it like right now. There's also been a lot of rumors saying that it's going to be on the Wii U. I don't really think that's a good idea. Like I said, it's all just rumors. Nothing's been confirmed by Game Freak and etc. etc. Um, but having a Pokemon game on the Wii U is kind of detrimental because the whole point of Pokemon is having it portable and you can go out and like play with your friends and stuff. So having a Pokemon, like a main series Pokemon game on a home console wouldn't be that of a smart decision because po the whole point of Pokemon is to go out and share with your friends. Um, but I, if they were to do that, like put Pokemon on a home console, it would obviously have to be very much internet orientated and that's that's not something Nintendo is very good at because I sort of see Nintendo as that one elderly relative who doesn't know how to work a computer properly and sort of stuck in its own ways and yeah. But like I said, Pokemon plus and minus, nothing but rumours, nothing's confirmed, so just have to wait and see if it is real. What is your favourite Mega Evolution? My favourite Mega Evolution is kind of a tricky one because obviously there's they brought in a lot with um, X and Y and who knows, they might even bring some more in future generations. Um, but as for my favourite, it's kind of hard to choose because I, I've, I've seen like most of them, a lot of them do look pretty cool. Um, but for my favourite would 
probably be Mega Gardevoir with Mega Lucario coming in at a close second because those two are like my two Pokemon that I mainly use on my team. What if Molestia catches you taking a bath? This isn't what it looks like. Do you know the Muffin Mare? The Muffin Mare? That lives on Jury Lane? Well, yes, I do know the Muffin Mare. And she's an absolute bitch. She throws muffins at me every morning. It's really annoying. God fucking damn! Are you fine with Lucario returning to Super Smash Bros? Or would you rather have Mewtwo or the rumoured Zoroark? Personally, I'm fine with um, having Lucario back in the new Smash Bros because Lucario I uh, happen to use a lot uh, back when I was playing Smash Bros Brawl. So having him back is like, yay, Lucario is re returning to the new Smash Bros. As for other Mewtwo or Zoroark, uh, well, Mewtwo's kind of a clone of Lucario anyway, so... Eh, maybe. It would be nice to have both of them, but... Hey, I don't know. Um, as for Zoroark, it would be nice to see um, him as well, because... Oh, he was like the um the kind of the, the mascot for Generation Five. So, in, if like if he could work in um, Smash Bros, then he would be a a nice character to have there as well. But for now, I'm just fine with Lucario. Do you ever find yourself agreeing with Brony analysts for each MLP episode? Not really, no, because analysts really sort of kind of take the fun out of watching the episode. So uh, all I watch is just because I like the show. I don't. I don't want to analyse every single tiny little lead how because I don't really find it enjoyable. I just have enough enjoyment just watching the show. So no, I don't really agree with the Brony Analyst and I don't really uh, watch many or really don't really... I don't really like Brony Analyst basically, so yeah. Did you know that the fans of Fight Against Magic recreated a tribute version? If so, what's your thoughts on it? I think it's just absolutely fucking stupid. Like. If you don't know, Fighting is, Fighting is Magic was a fan-created fighting game featuring the characters of MLP. It was, um, I think it was, I don't know when it was announced, I think it was like very, very early um, in the fandom, I think like 2010 or 2011. It, was, it went in production for an extra three years. It was announced like at the start of its development period and it never made any progress for the next three years and then it got C&D. Everyone was pissed off about it except for me and maybe a few others because they were like, God, it wasn't making any progress progress anyway so yeah I mean now that like some fans have like r managed to rehash some of the old code and put together a tribute version that is just stupid it was C and D for a reason guys and that uh, I just think it's fucking stupid really what are your thoughts on the new South Park game the new South Park game uh, South Park stick of truth it's actually really, surprisingly, it's actually really damn good because um, not many um, TV or movie licensed games uh, never turn out any good. And there have been some uh, other South Park games in the past that have received less than positive feedback. So having like South Park Stick of Truth being at, like genuinely good is actually kind of a surprise. Um, I, I really, really actually do like this game because it's really funny. It has the same humour from the show and also has the exact same animation style from the show as well, which and that's, which is really, really cool. It's a nice tribute to um, not only the South Park fans, but also uh, it's actually a genuinely good game and it's ridiculously funny. And it might turn out to be one of my favourite games of the year, so... Yeah. So yeah, that's all I think I've got today. That's that's all the questions uh, for today. So yeah, hopefully this episode was long enough. I hope so because it does seem this episode did feel a bit short. But then again, I don't know until I've fully edited it and etc. So. As always, if you don't want this series to die, go, as always, leave questions in the comments or as a message on either YouTube or Tumblr. As always, love, link to my Tumblr is in the description. So, in, like I said, you don't even need an account. You can just go on Anonymous and just go right ahead. So, yeah, my name's Skittles is Cool, and I'll see you next time.